All right, so we took a little break kind of in the middle of everything for the CRF here. There's a few Dyna videos that I wanted to get out quickly, so I kind of put everything for the dirt bike on hold. But now I'm gonna jump right back in. A lot of good stuff I need to put out for this dirt bike, a lot of good information. I left off, I know it's been a few weeks. Left off, got the carburetor taken out. So now I'm gonna jump right into the carburetor rebuild. It's probably gonna be a two-part video because there, there are a lot of parts on this carburetor. It's actually kind of insane. So yeah, if you need a refresher on what exactly we did previously to this on the dirt bike, you can click the video up in the top corner here or up here. I don't really know which side I'm gonna do yet. One of these corners up here will have a link to the video, the most recent Honda video. So enjoy this video. A lot of good information getting put out with this carburetor. Like I said, there's a, a lot of parts compared to the uh, CV car with my Dyna there. Yep, enjoy. The carburetor was a, a big project that made a huge difference on this bike. As I dug into it, I realized more and more of why it was running like shit. The jetting was kind of kind of off. The adjuster needle inside of there was a little bit out of the factory setting, but you'll see all that. So yeah, enjoy the video. More uh, CRF stuff coming out. No big trips planned on any bikes anytime soon, so yeah, should be able to get all this, this dirt bike footage out quickly. Two videos a week now, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, should be pretty fun. Uh, so enjoy the videos. Thanks for watching. Hmm. What the heck? So the carburetor's taken out. I got my all balls rebuild kit and my actuator accelerator pump rebuild. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing this thing down. And um, just looking at this one, I can tell there's a couple things that need to be replaced. I am getting all new vent hose from a friend. He has some extra. I did buy a new fuel line today from the local Honda shop. Well, not local, but down the road. And this kit seems like it has everything I need to get this thing completely rebuilt as far as gaskets, jets, uh, mixture screws, everything but the uh, hoses. And so looking at this thing and watching some videos on YouTube, it seems like all I need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a couple of various metric size Allen wrenches. So, yeah, this should be pretty simple for the most part. I'm going to keep everything as organized as possible because there's a lot of little pieces in these things. Okay, first things first, I already took reference pictures of everything to include some close-ups of things like the idle control, choke, this wiring harness, and then various hoses on here just to make sure I put everything back with the proper length hose. Let me get some gloves. Okay, so first things first, let's get all these vacuum hoses off. Okay, I lied. You will need a wrench for the choke. Looks like a 14 millimeter. Nothing else in there. So it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Okay, now the top cover is gonna come off. Okay, now we're gonna loosen up this Phillips head screw right here and then pull the throttle wheel out. The spring's still attached. Still got some grease on it, that's a good sign. Set this over here. And I'm gonna flip it upright and pull this whole assembly out. Okay, now this is the bracket that holds the idle control knob in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and then unscrew the idle control knob. There we go, don't lose the spring, just keep it on there. And there's a little washer on there as well, so be sure not to lose that. One thing I forgot to mention in here, when you take this arm out that was in here with the Phillips head screw that held the throttle wheel in, you take that out, there are two washers in here, one steel and one nylon. I'll get into that later. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take these four screws out, and these look like they've been replaced, so hopefully that means someone's been in here. Now this carb does have an aftermarket fuel mixture knob, so I'm gonna just go ahead and back that all the way out because I don't think this is gonna come off with it on. Now there is a little tiny washer, and a little tiny spring, and there's supposed to be a little tiny O-ring in here somewhere. All right. all right, so that's off. I'm gonna leave this here because I need to get to the accelerator pump. 
Now there's a little pin right in here. I'm gonna drive that out and that's gonna release the float. This little guy will come out. So there are three jets in here. I can't remember which one is which or pilot and main and there's another one. I can't remember what it's called. But they're all three in here and then for the two of the, the recessed ones you just need a flathead and then for this one um, You need a wrench. I'm not sure what size. Let me grab one. Looks like a nine millimeter oh, I'm sorry that jet wasn't a nine. It's a six mil Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and remove this, which will get rid of this whole plastic piece. That looks like I wanna say a 10 mil bolt, but hang on. Yep, that's an eight mil. Okay, so I'm gonna set the main body of the carp aside. And then we're gonna get the accelerator pump housing off. This looks like some more three mil. These things are fucking rusted. There we go. Now I'm not too worried about damaging anything in here. The kit comes with a brand new spring. Diaphragm, which this one's in okay shape, and new O-rings, which it looks like this one is completely fucking missing one. If I'm not mistaken, that is missing one. And then this gasket for the float bowl is coming out as well and going in the trash, which it needs to because this thing's disgusting. The float bowl can get set aside along with the accelerator pump cover and now this kit like I said comes with the new hardware the new diaphragm spring and o-ring so this o-ring these three bolts and this o-ring are all getting tossed okay after getting a better look at the rebuild kit as a, uh, individual pieces I gotta take this down a little bit more so on the bottom of the carb here there's a little Phillips head screw with a six-sided mesh filter. So that's gotta come out. Get that fucker out of there. Okay, so in here there is this part. Um, from what I've found, it's called the needle float valve. Well, this son of a bitch was completely stuck in there. It's out now. But there's this little brass lip on it. Right here. Well, this whole thing snapped off. So I was out of options, so I went to drill and tap it. And this thing came out with the drill. So, uh, yeah, this thing's disgusting. So there's a little trick for you. All right, so that's gonna be it for the carburetor disassembly. Uh, Tuesday's video is gonna be the complete reassembly of the carburetor. I wanted to split it up into two parts because as you can see, this video is about 10 minutes long and it probably would have been about 20, 25 with the reassembly. So kind of want to break it up. So yeah, like I said, there's a lot of information put out uh, about this carb. So I kind of wanted to, like I said, break it up. And again, a lot more dirt bike video is gonna be coming out because I have so much content I need to push out still. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, all that good stuff. Keep the channel growing. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get some riding footage soon because I haven't been able to. There's a whole debacle with my back tire and chain and you'll see that in the future. See you guys on Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So yeah, Tuesday, 6.30, carburetor rebuild.